Amaranth got banned. It's over. Wait, what? Ladies and gentlemen, it is the beginning of a new era as one of the largest female content creators has been banned Oof. from YouTube. Amaranth has been banned from YouTube. And uh -oh. YouTube actually came out to say that, yes, it was intentional. She won't be coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who Amaranth is somehow, this is her. She's a kick streamer now. She used to be a huge Twitch streamer. So basically, if you guys, like he said, if you guys don't know Amaranth, basically she started as a Twitch streamer. It's kind of funny because Ludwig kind of knew her before she blew up. Um, and basically she was actually, um, I think she was married and I think her, she was married or dating and her and her boy or her boyfriend, or husband, I think they got divorced. A whole bunch of stuff happened. Um, I might be wrong about that. Put in the comment section, but she was really big on Twitch, but then she got signed to kick after she got signed to kick. I didn't really see her that much because she was making so much money on kick. She was making so much money on OnlyFans. She's basically cool in it. You see what I'm saying? She has a whole bunch of people. She would do IRL streams, but now she's getting, she got banned off of YouTube. YouTube is a lot of revenue. So like, we're going to see why she got banned and put in the comment section, put your guesses why she got banned, but let's keep moving on. Let's go. Think of hot tub streams. Mm. You can thank Amaranth for that. Here she is. Obviously, it's going to be blurred down here on the bottom left because she has an OF link, an OF uh, logo, and it says type this thing okay. in the chat and I'll get the link, whatever. I have no issue with um this kind of adult work, whatever. Adults can do adult things. It, and I agree with him. I think the adult work that she does, it's cool if it says, when you enter her stream, it says for mature audiences. I think that's cool. If it gives you a warning, she promotes her OnlyFans, but it, it, it gives you a warning first. Everyone knows she's doing it. She's not blatantly trying to hide in a different category to like promote her OnlyFans. I actually like that. You see what I'm saying? She's upfront with it. So that's cool, but let's keep watching. Things. But this is who Amaranth is. You probably recognize her as this, you know, orange haired, scarlet woman. You know, she uh, does a lot of adult work, right? Mm. And she's quite controversial for that adult work. And so on Twitter, uh, this was last night. August 20th at what? 5 p.m. She says, hey, Team YouTube, I uploaded an ASMR video and my whole channel suddenly got removed without warning. What the I was heck? just brushing the mic with a paintbrush. And so if you got banned for a paintbrush, huh? There has to be there has to be more to this story. There's no way that she got banned for a paintbrush, bro. Let's keep watching. If you don't know what ASMR is, you know, it's like the funny noises in the mic. Yep. Um, we've covered ASMR a lot on this channel. Um, just Google it, kind of find mm -hmm. out what it is, and that's what ASMR is. She did ASMR for a very long time. She had a very large channel with about 700,000 subscribers. Wow. Here is the channel for context. Okay. Amaranth ASMR, 171 uploads, 749 thousand subscribers that's actually good ratio 171 uploads on a four seven hundred and forty nine k guys i have like two thousand uploads <laughs> so very good ratio i'm not gonna lie this is kind of crazy but this is a website social blade where you can see a whole bunch of stuff it's not completely accurate on earnings but um but basically mostly everything else is accurate and you get grades and a whole bunch of other stuff it's a very good website as you can see, if you try to watch the video, you get an error. If you try to click on this link, you'll get an error because okay. the channel has been banned. Wow. Right. So this led to YouTube to reply. Usually if you add team YouTube and you say, hey, I got banned. I don't think I should have got banned. Something's wrong here. They'll reach out and they'll say, hey, um, email us. Let us know what happened. Send us the link. We'll look into it more. Okay. YouTube says, sorry to hear this. A single case of severe abuse, such as predatory behavior, spam, or pornography can lead to a channel termination without a warning. Mind sharing your channel URL so we can check on it? So Amaranth links her YouTube. Okay. And so at this point, <laughs> YouTube goes based. YouTube is based, right? Um, team YouTube says update. Our policy team confirmed the termination was correct. What? You can read through this article for more info on the nudity and sexual content policy that led to this decision. And there's a link we will look at. Appreciate what? your understanding of our need to make this tough call. But she, so this is bad. So like once you're banned on YouTube, her other channels are GGs. Like they demonetize you. Like you're basically, you cannot make another channel. Like you can make another channel to watch other videos. But you cannot make another channel to like basically promote content. 
So her Amaranth Live, she had an Amaranth Live channel. All this stuff, gone. You see what I'm saying? So, like, this is really bad. Once you're banned off YouTube, and the thing is, they didn't even give her a strike, and they said that for nudity and sexual content, but she was doing ASMR, bro. So I'm kind of confused in why they did this. I think she, we need to get more of a context. Let's actually see. Maybe something happened during the video, but let's let's keep moving on. So holy crap. You know, as somebody who's not a big fan of YouTube's rule mm. system, I think their um, guidelines are very vague and oftentimes get people demonetized and ad are ad limited for a lot of reasons that they really shouldn't be. I would say on this regard, you know, it's pretty based if you've ever yep. seen Amaranth's ASMR, right? And so here's the guideline policy. So the part that I really, I guess, can focus on right okay. here is where it says explicit content that violates this policy could result in channel termination. This policy applies to real world, dramatized, illustrated, and animated content, including sex scenes, video games, and music. Okay. Don't post content on YouTube if it shows the depiction of clothed or unclothed genitals, breasts, buttocks that are meant for sexual gratification, and obviously, uh, pornography, adult content. So, what does that mean? That means so YouTube lost. finally looked at Amaranth's ASMR and said, okay. you know what? Maybe this is not exactly a... ASMR, you know, maybe people are finding other ways to real relax to this con. So, but the thing is, so they're saying that her content was more sexualized. It was more using, it was more sexualized than actually being ASMR content. So, like, it was not, it was not meant for inner, it was more meant for like that type of content towards entertaining asmr that's just very soothing to the ears that's kind of weird i don't know was this i think youtube usually is on point with this stuff because there's a whole bunch of policies that they have to do um and if they don't if you don't convert by the policies you can get one you get banned get a strike or your channel removed so like there's a whole bunch of um things that you that happens but like it's kind of weird i didn't really see anything that was that vulnerable on our channel um, but maybe I haven't watched her content in a very, very, very long time, but maybe it was bad. So we're, we're going to keep moving on. Maybe he has an example, but I don't, I don't know. Content, you know, maybe they have one hand full. The other hand is typing something in chat. Who knows what, what YouTube heck? discovered, but as someone who's seen some of this Amaranth content, whether it be on YouTube or on other platforms, it's safe to say that YouTube, uh, for once has made a call that. I don't see a lot of people arguing with. Okay. Uh, there will be, you know, a lot of these adult creators, a lot of ASMR creators coming out saying she didn't deserve it. And that's fine. You know, I'm I'm more than willing to understand their point of view and listen to what they have to say. Uh, Maybe they could also be targeting her because of her. She uses, she does a whole bunch of um, only, only uh, cans, only cans content. Um, on basically how to explain this. She does a whole bunch of only fans content. She basically does a whole bunch of like nudity content. And she basically does a whole bunch of stuff that's very bad. So maybe her linking, maybe she's putting her link tree in, in her YouTube. Maybe her doing certain stuff kind of like promotes um, sexualized content. But I don't know. It's um, it's very controversial. It can, it can go either way. Um... I feel like he's right. A lot of people are not going to disagree because if, if you've seen Amaranth, especially on her streams, not on YouTube, but mostly on her streams, it is very sexualized. So I do agree with that point of view. But on YouTube, I feel like she kind of didn't put that content on there. But I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Put in the comment section if I'm wrong. Um, but let's keep watching. Um, but again... I think there has been people who have been wrongfully terminated mm. or wrongfully been demonetized and whatnot on YouTube, especially people who make ASMR. And I would not argue that Amaranth is one of these people okay. whatsoever. She knows what she's doing and she's known that for years. I mean, her normal channel is still up. I'm going to flash it up on the screen. Literally, I'm going to flash it because I probably will get age restricted just showing this. This is her normal channel. That her is normal channel. Usually once you get banned off one channel um unless someone else owns it so maybe the asmr channel her her husband her ex-husband or her ex-boyfriend owns that channel so maybe if she got this channel if that channel got banned she can still keep this channel up but most of the time 
when you get your channel banned, you all your other channels are gone. So I don't know how she has her other channel up. Um, maybe YouTube will change this in a couple days. Maybe someone else owns it and gets the payments. But it's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe she her ex still owns that channel. She wanted to take it down, and she didn't want him. She didn't want him making any money anymore. So she posted something crazy, and then it screwed him over. We do not know. But let's keep watching. Still up on YouTube, just Amaranth, and all her videos are blatantly uh, inappropriate. Mm. Hottest mesh shirts, um, Amaranth must see try on haul, one piece sim swimsuit try ons, sheer it's elegance crazy. try on, banging bodysuits. And you know, people can argue and say, oh, you know, it's just try on hauls. People just want to know how a clothing fits, how it feels, how it uh, how it's like to wear it, how it looks, blah, blah, mm. blah. She knows what she's doing. She does. She creates adult content on multiple websites. She is not silly. She's not showcasing clothing because she's some fashion guru. She's showing this because she knows people will be like, dang, that outfit makes her, you know, her uh, her little her cake look a little good. Let me go check out the other links that she has plastered all over her bio, all over her kick. I agree. I agree completely. She She definitely knows what she's doing. And like, he's right. So like. They see this content, it's not complete, you see what I'm saying? But then they, they can go to her only cans, and once they go to her only cans, they see oh they're like, oh, I can get the full like basically the full experience. Like he said, sheesh. So he's completely right. Um, but like put in the comment section, do you guys like Amaran's con like content or you stop watching her? Basically, I feel like she kind of fell off since she joined Kick. Um, because Kick's audience isn't as wide, so I feel like she used to be one of the biggest ASMR content creators on the platform, and also she was one of the the, the I forgot what's called Sun and Beach bikini um, content creators on Twitch. There's a category where it's called Sun and Beach, and basically they literally these girls are just in bikinis hanging out, chilling and stuff, and it's more like the mature side of Twitch. So like. She's not on there anymore. So other content creators that gave them a chance to rise and she kind of fell off because she's but she's making so much money on kick. It doesn't even matter, bro. She's she's set for life. She don't even need to work a day in her life. You see what I'm saying? I feel like she's cooling it, bro. I feel like she's cooling it on an like easy 20 mil, 30 mil, just just easily just chilling right now. So like I don't know. Even if she gets completely demonetized, completely all her stuff taken off, she still has Twitter, she still has Instagram, she still has TikTok, I think. So she's she's cool. You see what I'm saying? And she has a whole bunch of bread. So like, I don't know. It's kind of crazy how all this stuff works, but we live and we learn. You see what I'm saying? Now, like, I'm just surprised that her YouTube channel is still up because usually they take everything out. Streams all over her Twitch streams and go subscribe to give her money mm -hmm. to see that kind of content, which, regardless of how you feel, is against YouTube's policy. As well as the promotion of, you know, sexually gratifying content is against the YouTube policy. All right, so this website is called the ASMR Index. Mm. Yes, I'm a bit of a gooner. I know of these websites because I've done a lot of research on like ASMR videos. I know okay. what like sites they use to reference and back up things. This site is basically the internet archive of ASMR, right? And so we can see Amaranth's ASMR channel here. Created 10 years ago, the same views match up, the view count, the videos match. Mm. And it showcases all the videos that she's ever posted. Um, of course, since her channel is banned, you can't see any of these on YouTube. So I came to this site to show you. And as you can see, I scrolled down once. Her content's like oil ASMR. She has lotion on her chest. Obviously, lotion what is a white heck? substance, so for it to be on your chest is not exactly appropriate, right? And then we have um, the the Black Widow cosplay is kind of crazy. She kind of does look like Black Widow a little bit, but like doing the Black Widow cosplay, hey yo, she's actually being creative because I was just I would never thought of that. I never thought that she looked like that Black Widow, but then seeing the cosplay, I'm like, okay, I can see it now. Is she really a redhead, or is her? like hair really brown is it actually brown i think her hair is actually brown right i might be wrong put it in the comment section her role play asmr what again the? you could argue this is just a beautiful woman with a large what? set of cannons melons whatever you want to refer to as but again a lot of her content does well delve a little deep into uh teasing the line of it is just being a beautiful woman with nice assets to 
a beautiful woman with nice assets showing her nice assets mm. for views, which is against the policy. Again, I went to the next page. We have uh, let this maid is, take. What the is, is this like? Is this uh the cat the cat lady the the cat woman? Is that cat woman? Take care of you. That video got removed from YouTube. Is this relaxing amaranth massage? Another video squirting the white. So she okay. So this is the thing. Okay, now I realize something. Do you see how we're getting more information? So she's already had a whole bunch of video takedowns off the platform. Um, if you, so you see these red indicators, so these are basically videos that have been taken off the platform. But so she's been given multiple warnings. And after you, they actually said, hey, don't post this. Hey, this is too much. You're going too far. Hey, this is too much. You're going too far. You see what I'm saying? So like. She didn't get the like three strikes you're out, but she got multiple warnings. And the thing is, when you're playing with this type of content, you're playing with the line. So if if they don't if they say, hey, okay, we had enough, they had enough. They you do not need three strikes. She knows this. So she knows why she got taken down. I understand it's hard, Amaranth. I know it's hard, but now we're getting more context in the situation. Put in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I feel like she's already had like eight takedown requests. That's eight warnings when they're telling her, "Hey, you're you're going over the limit," and they go they go away in three months. So in the last ten years, she's had eight takedown requests. It's still a long time, but at the same time, it's a it's like a warning every year. So like she she's been doing it for ten years. She should understand what's policy and what's not, and she just didn't care. You see what I'm saying? So, but let's keep watching. Squid on her chest with her. Her bosoms out for the public to see. Uh, relaxing lotion massage, right? So for anyone who's just kind of wondering sh what what she's done, what kind of content she posts, hopefully, you know, that kind of answers your question. Mm, makes now, sense. Dexerto themselves, Dexerto is like a news coverage site. They talk about gaming news and internet news, streaming news. They says Amaranth asmr channel has been banned on youtube for sexual content and amaranth says to sum it all up i must say that i regret nothing wow so there you go so basically now we're getting more information she knows what she did she understands and she said hey i don't care she made her bag i don't know how much money i don't even know if, if we can look this um let's look as if we uh Amaranth, man, some more. Ooh. So, she made, holy crap. This is how much money she's made off the channel. So, that's 195K to 400K. Let's see how much she's making um, off her current channel. I don't even know how this is up. So, she only makes 4.3K. Oops, oops. We should not have that content on our... Uh, she makes around 4.3k to 11k so that's not bad god dang it <laughs> i might have to cut that out threats nothing if she says whatever then we should say whatever you know people are gonna fight and say she didn't deserve it but she regrets nothing she knew that she violated the rules for years at this point bro i'm mad at myself now i have to actually go into the video and cut it out when i upload it gosh dang it why did she doesn't regret it whatsoever so why should i why should i feel bad why should you again you guys are welcome to have opinions and thoughts about this because again i i disagree with a lot of the dumb things that youtube does in terms of their mm. rules and policies but if she herself is saying she regrets nothing and doesn't feel bad or isn't sorry for it or willing to change the way that her content has been for the past few years it is what it is Okay. And I think Nicholas Diorio makes a good point. He's a commentary guy. He says, if one of my channels or one of yours got banned, we'd be wiped off the site completely. Exactly. And the reason he brings that up is because of the Amaranth channel, the one I showed you that had 999,000 subs is still there, which is completely true from Nicholas's point of view. If So, but the thing is, she might not own... She might not own that channel. Maybe her ex-husband owns it, and she owned the ASMR channel. It could be the opposite. We we have no idea who owns that channel. If someone else owns the channel, but she's just getting the ad revenue from it, and they're splitting it, legally, I don't think they can take her down because she doesn't own the channel. If she does own the channel, and this channel is still up, 
that's really bad. YouTube needs to be taking all her channels off. She's not, she shouldn't be allowed to have multiple channels on the platform. Once you get banned once, I, the normal policy is that you get wiped off the platform completely. So we don't know. Put in the comment section if you guys agree, but I don't know. One of us, you know, did something absolutely egregious to the point where our account, accounts were terminated. We wouldn't be able to still have, you know, two, mm. three backup accounts. We'd be gone. It yep. is what it is. That's kind of what happens when you are like a YouTube channel with a face. You know, when you put your face on YouTube and you uh, get banned, there's not really a lot that can go down beyond that point. You get banned. You better go find, you better go to Rumble <laughs> or something, yep. you know, and I, I really do agree with Nicholas Diorio here, but regardless, my friends, that's the end of the video. It is a new dawn as Amaranth has finally been banned from a platform. She was one of Twitch's poster girls who would get banned. It seems every week they'd unban her, they'd ban her again, they'd unban her, they'd ban her, they'd unban her, they'd ban her. You I agree. I feel like she gets a lot of leniency. I feel like she gets too much leniency to be honest um but guys we're gonna end the video here shout out to cam nuggets the one of the best content creators on the platform shout out to you brother if you guys have not liked his video and turn your notifications on for his videos that come out shout out to cam nuggets i like supporting the creators that we react to live thank you guys so much do you guys agree with amaranth getting banned now i need to go back into my youtube and i need to take that part out because gosh dang it guys come on but guys shout out to you guys um and yeah guys i will talk to you guys later and don't forget to like subscribe turn on your notifications and i'll see you guys later bye guys